Extending knowledge, changing lives. That's what the NDSU Extension Service has been doing for 100 years. North Dakota Agricultural College was founded in 1890 as a land-grant university under the Federal Morrill Act of 1862. Immediately, some faculty and staff started providing information beyond the campus. The Hatch Act of 1887 created agricultural experiment stations, and the research led to better information to serve North Dakota's needs. NDAC supported better farming associations and helped with boys' and girls' corn clubs, pig clubs, and canning clubs because faculty realized that often the best way to reach adults was through their children. In 1911, the College Extension Report showed that faculty taught teacher institutes, developed bulletins and exhibits, managed the state corn show, and developed a lending library. Other land-grant universities across the country also were extending their knowledge to the people. On May 8, 1914, the federal Smith-Lever Act created the Cooperative Extension System. This made it possible to establish a county agent system that gave local people access to local educators with programming leadership at the state level and federal support. Thomas Cooper was named the first director of the North Dakota Cooperative Extension Service. Cooper said that through Extension's help, men and women may develop within themselves the ability to bring about a better condition in the community. That philosophy continues today with the NDSU Extension Service's purpose to create learning partnerships that help adults and youth enhance their lives and communities. Though the topics and methods have changed over 100 years, Extension's goal remains to take the university to the people. For example, Extension helped with Victory Gardens during World War II, and today coordinates community gardens for nutritious local foods. 4-H youth development work has transitioned from those corn clubs and canning clubs to programs in robotics and aerospace. Extension helped North Dakota earn the King Wheat nickname, but also helped producers diversify to become the number one producer of crops such as canola, dry edible beans and peas, flaxseed, and sunflowers. Many county farm bureaus started with Extension's help, and Extension continues to support community vitality with planning, small business development, and leadership training. People are truly what make Extension education possible. In 1914, as well as today, it's the educators and support staff who identify people's needs and work to meet those needs. As the centennial of the 1914 Smith-Lever Act is celebrated, the NDSU Extension Service also looks forward to the challenges North Dakota faces and how it will continue to provide informal education to help people meet those challenges. The NDSU Extension Service will continue to serve individuals, local communities, the state, and beyond. In its next century, the NDSU Extension Service still will be extending knowledge and changing lives.